Match drawn after Worcestershire follow on. A flat track at New Road looks likely to produce another draw, with the hosts still in the midst of their reply to Essex's first innings total of 561. The pairs had made their way to 302 for 5 at the close of the day, and had time on their side. They'd gnawed away at Essex's mammoth total, but wouldn't be able to go much further at the resumption. The sixth wicket pair separated, Cook dragged on, Vessels bowled. But Cook didn't need any help from the batsman to bowl Cox. His delivery beat him all ends up, a real beauty. The pair's man bowled for 37, and maybe there was a sliver of opportunity for the visitors. It certainly looked that way when Cook had his third of the day. Joseph trapped in front for a two-ball duck, his size still over 100 from avoiding the follow-on. Harmer found some turn to remove Barnard, the pair's innings crumbling early in the day. Pennington and Morris held on, Essex sniffed a route to victory if they could force their opponents to bat again, so this last wicket pairing was crucial for the hosts. But the pairs left the door ajar. Lawrence bowled Pennington for 30 to bring the stand to an end. The Essex lead was 197, the follow-on enforced, Wesley going for the jugular. The innings had rather fallen apart in an hour and a half on day three, Cook in inspired form to give his side a chance at victory. They'd had just six runs to the total in the play possible before lunch, an intriguing afternoon session still to come. There was more encouragement for Essex after the break. Cook's inswinger was left by Mitchell, only for it to clatter into his middle stump. Libby and Fell took the total to 50, their deficit now below 150. And the partnership was soon also worth 50. Essex designs on victory were beginning to evaporate as the session wore on. The deficit was in double figures, and the total now over 100. The pairs were refusing to give their visitors any more opportunities. And that's how they'd reached the tea interval. Still there, still together, the partnership worth 81, and the hosts trailing by 92. Fell was out to the first delivery after the break, Cook continuing his fine day. The number three, out LBW for 35. Fielders crowded the bat, the visitors desperate for another wicket, but the hosts had bunkered up. After almost an hour of play, they had yet to find the boundary, not that they were looking for it. Libby crept his way to a 50, his marathon knock coming off 127 balls. There was the rare sight of a boundary, this one from Roderick, and it was a brief break in the attritional display, but he'd done the job. Soon after, it was handshakes all round, the draw agreed, a fourth in a row for Worcestershire. With only the top two in the group able to reach the Bob Willis Trophy final, Essex's hopes of defending their crown took another knock. They'll hope to find their winning formula away at Trent Bridge against Nottinghamshire, while Worcestershire head to Edgebaston for the pairs-bears clash.